In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at a few ArcGIS tools and apps for supporting wireless site planning, monitoring of site acquisitions and buildouts, and tower inspections. So first off, as a network planner, I log in to our ArcGIS portal, which provides me with all the geospatial maps, apps, and tools that I need to help plan new wireless infrastructure. So to support the build out of thousands of new wireless sites to support 5G, I need access to some spatial tools to help me make the smartest decision possible about where to deploy a new tower or small cell. This wireless site planning app provides me with those spatial tools to plan out wireless site locations. On the map, I have access to existing cell site locations as well as their current build out status. Existing fiber infrastructure and other network facilities, current coverage and spectrum info, as well as areas that we have done some analysis and deemed suitable for new towers or small cell locations. Now there are a few factors that I want to consider for locating ideal locations for a new wireless access point. First, proximity of the site to existing fiber and other towers. Second, potential coverage of that site. And third, the population served, sometimes referred to as POPs megahertz. This wireless site planning tool provides me with the capabilities to look at all three of those factors. First, we'll start with the proximity of a new tower to other wireless sites and we can see the three closest towers as my cursor moves across our map. Then I can start to visualize the basic coverage of a new proposed tower. And I can view this basic coverage with just a standard buffer as we see here, or even using Voronoi polygons. Lastly, I may want to know how many people are served by this basic coverage. So we can geo-enrich these basic coverage areas on the fly. As we move the cursor around the map and hover in a particular location, our subscriber population and penetration rate information starts to update on the fly. Once we have a location that we'd like to propose as a new tower location, we can use our cell site editor to add in our new proposed site location. I'll add in some details to let our RF engineer know about this proposed new site. and then we'll save it. Finally, if this site is too far away from our existing fiber infrastructure, we can quickly assess if microwave backhaul is an option between our new proposed site and an existing tower. And now here we can see the elevation profile along that microwave path. All right, so now that we have our proposed site, the RF team can start their RF engineering. And since we are tracking the status of each of our wireless sites in ArcGIS, let's jump into an operational dashboard for tracking our site status as well as tower inspections. As all of these new wireless sites to support 5G are being planned, RF engineering is occurring, and site acquisition is taking place, it's important to track the operational status of each of these sites so we can ensure that we are hitting our 5G goals. This ArcGIS dashboard enables our management teams to track the status of new wireless sites from planning to engineering to permitting to construction or acquisition. Now within our map view, we can see our newly proposed site. And as the RF team 
does their propagation analysis, we are able to summarize the total population of all of our operational towers versus the total population of all of our proposed towers. This helps us to ensure that we are hitting our POPS megahertz numbers for the year. Through this dashboard, we are also able to track inspections of our towers and small cells as they become operational or need repair. Here we can see three recently completed tower inspections. And selecting on one of these completed inspections takes us right to the tower location in the map. And as our field team starts to perform their surveys and drone inspections, we are able to pull up the survey and results being collected from the ArcGIS mobile apps, such as Survey123. This includes pulling up the survey results being collected and making any edits or providing comments to this survey, as well as pulling up the results from the drone tower inspection. We see the drone flight path and all of the drone photos taken of our recently acquired tower. This ArcGIS dashboard and the suite of ArcGIS mobile apps enables our management team to stay on track of our 5G goals and easily view field captured surveys and drone data. As we've just seen, ArcGIS maps and apps and tools can support wireless site planning, monitoring of site acquisitions and buildouts, and performing tower inspections. Mm -hmm.